I found a high school for rent on Airbnb, so I rented it. A couple of weeks ago, I was browsing on Airbnb for interesting listings near me, and I saw this listing for a historic high school. When you rent out the listing, you are getting the entire high school to yourself. I immediately knew I was going to rent it and come here and do a video on it. I've never seen a school listed on Airbnb. So this is the historic Kingston High School in Kingston, Idaho. If you've never heard of Kingston, I hadn't either until a few weeks ago. It's a very, very small town. For reference, it's about 30 minutes east of Coeur d'Alene. And this was a real high school. When I got here, there was actually someone here coincidentally who maintains the grounds and they gave me a little bit of backstory on it. This place was built in the late 1920s and was an active high school from 1930 to 1954. And a lot of the stuff in here has been preserved from that time. Okay, so starting at the front, you go in the first set of double doors, and then there's a second set you enter in right here to the hallway. So starting on the right, there's this glass display case that has memorabilia of when this was an actual high school, photos of sports teams and trophies and a letter. There's even a football schedule. This window here, it didn't used to have glass. This was the admin office. So as students came into school or left school, if they needed to turn in slips or anything to the office, this is where they would hand it in. You've got this really cool looking clock right here and the hallway down here. Okay, so starting here on my right, this is the first bedroom of the Airbnb. And I think this is my favorite room. It's super cozy. There's a little sitting area. There's a television, some books, a lot of plants. I love that. It also has these gorgeous windows windows, two beds, a little dining table over here, a nice big desk. I think whoever owns this is really into fishing because there's a lot of fish related stuff around here. Like there's fish everywhere. Really cool space. There's these shelves up here that have glass faces on them and some potted plants, some jars. And then heading out of this room and across the hall, you can go into the second bedroom of the Airbnb. This room's a little bit cozy. It has two beds, a dresser with a mirror, and another dresser. I really like all of the quilts and colors and prints that they used in here. I think that's nice. You have some more books over here on top of the dresser, some more fish over here on the wall. Then heading back out into the main hall, you have a bench here with a chalkboard. This room over here, I was told, was the principal's office, and it has been converted into the kitchen of the Airbnb, so you have your fridge and sink and dishwasher, toaster, toaster oven, microwave, and it has also become my gear space. And then probably the most exciting part of renting this school to yourself is you get an auditorium. Like what? This is crazy and there's two more beds back here so you could rent this place out with a bunch of friends and like hang out in this auditorium they even have some board games over here and i believe all of these chairs are from the days when this was a school back here there's a bunch of maps on the walls there's also this really cool vintage typewriter up here how neat is that there's also this vintage pencil sharpener i completely forgot about these because these were in my classroom and at least elementary school, I think in middle school as well. Which I'm curious, are these still in classrooms today or is it all electric? Or do kids even write anymore? I don't I don't even know. Maybe it's just all computers. And then right here, this door leads to the bathroom. So standard bathroom, shower, sink in here. Here on the wall, there are these scholarship plaques with names on them. So you have like Lucille Hart, 1943, even going back to 1938 names on here. I'll take you guys up to the stage here. Looking at these stairs, I would guess that these are original stairs. Up here is another glass cabinet that looks like it has yearbook stuff in it. Lots of photos of students and even some newspapers. Super cool. I have never seen an Airbnb like this that comes with like an actual large entertaining space. I cannot get over how cool this is. I think it's 
the neatest thing ever. I also kind of feel like I'm in an episode of Riverdale. I don't know what it is. I'm getting Riverdale vibes here. And I'm really surprised that I even ended up coming across this listing because when you go on Airbnb, in the filters, there's an option for unique stays. And it has things like tiny houses, tree houses, dome houses. High school isn't an option on there. And I found when I looked at this listing that it's categorized under castle, which is probably the closest thing to put this in, to be honest. But it means if you were searching for it and you didn't have castle, Castle toggled is one of the options you wanted to see, you would never see this. Well, that's pretty much it for my high school Airbnb tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed filming it. I love watching these kinds of videos, any kind of Airbnb tour or unique home tour. And I was actually hoping to do more of this this year. I had it in mind when I did my tiny house video last year that I kind of wanted to start a series of cool Airbnb tours. So I was really happy when I found this one. And it was available. Also, Northern Idaho is so beautiful right now. I'm out for a scenic drive. The fall colors are incredible. This morning, there was this layer of like fog and clouds really low in the trees, and it was stunning. If you've never considered visiting this region, I highly recommend it. There's lots of lakes and forests. As far as Kingston for a destination itself, aside from the really cool Airbnb, there doesn't seem to be much here. Maybe you'd have to ask a local, but it seems really small. But there are a cluster of little towns right in this area, so maybe like between all of them there's more of a variety of things. Coeur d'Alene is like a 25 minute drive from here, and there's tons to do there, maybe not right now, but like in normal times if you were thinking of making a trip here, Coeur d'Alene would probably be your biggest hub for things to do around here. If you would like to see more Airbnb tours, give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you know when new videos are posted. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I run my website on Squarespace and it was so easy to put together. It's an all-in-one platform to build any kind of site, a store, a portfolio, a blog. They have 24-7 customer service, award-winning templates, and they offer a free trial. So head over to squarespace.com to sign up for your free trial. You can design your site, get it all ready to go, and then when you're ready, visit squarespace.com slash Allison Anderson to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I hope you all are doing well. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.